in Washington, D.C., nearly a dozen black and Latina girls reported missing in recent days, and authorities are now trying to raise awareness. ABC's Lindsay Davis is in Washington with the very latest on this story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. This is a storyline that primarily gained traction online, and there are those in social media who say that Tom Brady's missing jersey got more coverage than these missing girls. But D.C. police say it's not a matter that more girls are missing. They say they're simply doing a better job of getting the word out when people do go missing. These are the alarming posts catching the attention of social media users across the country. A series of tweets by Washington, D.C. police asking to help find nearly a dozen black teenage girls reported missing over the course of just three days. All of a sudden, we saw have a lot of young females missing. Those teens are among 38 people in total now listed as missing. Some of them described as critically missing on D.C.'s Metropolitan Police site. Many of them young blacks or Latino teenage girls. Hundreds of concerned citizens packed an emotional town hall meeting Wednesday night. Worried all these banished teens represent a disturbing spike in crime and question if black and Latino girls are being targeted. We can't go nowhere by ourselves. We can't do nothing because we have to keep worried about somebody trying to take us. But city officials explain there aren't more missing teens, there's just more awareness. Part of a new effort by a police department often accused of overlooking cases of missing people of color. I just implemented a process to ensure that all critical missing persons receive the same level of police service and media attention. According to D.C. police, all 38 people currently missing walked away voluntarily, and four of the eight in the initial tweet that garnered so much attention have since been located. But the concern is that those who are still missing may now be in real danger. When they go missing, guess what? You have a child out there, and there are people in our community that will pray on those children. The concern is if authorities don't publicize their cases, they could end up like eight-year-old Felicia Rudd. Until a few weeks ago, she was the only missing person listed on the department's site after she vanished three years ago this month. Her mother spoke to a local station at the time. Come back home to your mother safely and unharmed, and I love you. Seen here just days before her disappearance, many felt religious case didn't get enough coverage she has never been found. That community had no idea that this was an issue that was going on in their own backyard. And by the police being transparent and putting out all missing person cases, it brings about awareness. Now, many of these cases don't end up rising to the level of an Amber Alert, and that's something that some in the black community point to as a sign that when black children go missing, they simply don't get the same attention and coverage as when white children go missing. But the police chief here points out that under the current guidelines, an Amber Alert can only be issued if it's believed that the child has been abducted or that they're in imminent danger of injury or death. Amy. All right, Lindsay, thank you. And joining us now is ABC News consultant and former FBI Special Agent Brad Garrett. Well, okay, I'm sorry. Shalom. We're the IQPK coming out of 1 West, 125th Street in Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanan. My name is Officer Amakobab, and I would like to welcome you to the ISUPK Louisville class. And tonight's topic is going to be 
if the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? If you was watching the video from the beginning, you seen a news story that talked about a lot of missing black and Latino girls in the Washington, D.C. area. This has become a phenomenon throughout America, throughout Babylon. And tonight, we're going to go into the scriptures, and we're going to find out scripturally why this is happening. Because if we rely on the mainstream media to inform us on why this is happening, we're not going to know anything. So we're going to go into the Bible. So if I could, let me get the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. And if you're watching the class, I would ask that you share the class so that other people can be edified. Ask your questions. Leave your comments. ISUPK Lord. But yeah, it's real heavy what we're going to bring out because in the conscious community, they glory and talk about how the black woman's God. But yet, the black woman is missing. How do, how's it so? We're going to bring it out. You got that? Book of 1 Corinthians. Chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. That's right. We got a head. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the, the man. And the head of who? Of the woman. Go ahead. Is the man. Is the who? Is the man. See, there's order. There is order. Now, here in America, they tell black women that you don't need to listen to a black man, Latino or Native Indian man. You can do your own thing. But we just read in the so-called New Testament that the woman has a head and it's the man, her husband. Or who, who's ever her head for her father, right? Our father figure that she's under until she becomes married. See what I'm saying? Drop that and let me get the book of Mark chapter 3 and verse 27. We got we got to know this, right? Because a lot of black men been getting a lot of flack about when well, a black man needs to protect us. He needs to protect us. We are protecting you. The first line of defense for a black, Hispanic, and Native Indian woman is instruction. You see what I'm saying? Now, if we sit there and tell you not to be driving around at night by your goddamn self, and you drive around at night, then whose fault is that? Is it our fault? No, we told you. Because, hell, we ain't even driving out there like that many times. Hell, police, hold up, man. It's hot out there. I ain't trying to go I ain't trying to go out tonight. You see what I'm saying? But you, and I'm talking about some black women, not all. You a good sister. You know who you are. Don't sweat it. But according to these news stories, many of our women are black women, Israelite women, are coming up missing. So, therefore, they can't be God. You see what I'm saying? You got that? Uh, let's get that in the book of Mark, chapter 3, and verse 27. The book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 27. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man. Right there. Okay. Now, a woman, a man's wife is his possession. Okay? Now, how does that look nowadays, here in our captivity? The strong man, which is a so-called black, Hispanic, and native Indian man, being bind up. How does that look? It's a plethora of ways. It can be 
incarceration. It can be child support. It can be calling the white police on that black man because he did something you didn't like. And what happens? They bind the strong man up. Now he's no longer in that house to lead and protect the family with his guidance, his physical presence, but yet we get blamed for not protecting our women. That's how the strong man gets by in the Bible. We brought out earlier in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3 how a woman, she needs a hand. She needs guidance, man, because the scriptures say she's the weaker vessel. I'm paraphrasing. It's not just physically. It's also emotionally in several other ways. And this ain't to slight any women. It's just what the Most High said. We go by the Bible here in the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. We go by the Bible, so don't sweat us and don't get mad. The truth is coming out. So, read that again from the top. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods. Mm -hmm. His wife, that black, Hispanic, or native Indian woman, go ahead. Except he will first bind the strong man. Mm. And that's the thing about it. We get bound by many different ways here in America. And we got to know that if our women is detached from us, then she leaves herself susceptible to attacks. Now, this is a book right here. Let's see if you can see that. It's called The Willie Lynch Letter and the Making of a Slave. We're going to go into this book. We're going to read the, the whole page. I think it's page 21. It's called The Nigger Marriage. That's what it's called in the book. All right. And we're going to see the origins because, see, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, we incurred curses, right? And we're going to prove this historically and also biblically why things have went awry in the black community concerning our relationships and why the black woman thinks she's God. She's independent. She don't need a head. You found that? Read that for me if you could. The Willie Lynch Letter and Making of a Slave, page 21, the Negro, Merit, the Negro Marriage Unit. We breed two nigger males with two nigger females. Okay, right there. Let me give you a little backdrop about Willie Lynch, okay? Now, he was a, he, um, what he did, he was in the West Indies, right? And he was in charge of breaking slaves. So he came up to the states and pretty much helped slave owners know how to be able to make their slaves submissive. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Then we take the nigger males away from them and keep them moving and working. Mm. Say the nigger female bears a nigger female and the other bears a nigger male. Both nigger females being without influence of the nigger male image, frozen with an independent psychology. What a what? Independent psychology. Miss Independent. And that's the thing about it. That's why the black woman thinks she's God. Because she's frozen with an independent psychology. Now that's in a historical book. Written way back when. This ain't nothing new. That's why your woman goes to college. She leave the hood and she forget about you. You see what I'm saying? She's independent now. She's in the, the um, this Babylonian system. And they make her out to be a god. We're going to bring out the queen of heaven. We're going to get into some deep stuff tonight. You know what I'm saying? Read that part about being independent again. Frozen with an independent psychology. Mm. Will raise their offspring into reverse positions. Oh, raise their offspring into reverse positions. What does that mean? 
Now, you got dudes want to be divas, and you got <laughs> divas want to be dykes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that's what it is, reverse position. You see what I'm saying? You got little boys that's raised by single black women, Latino or Indian women, without their head that we brought out in 1 Corinthians, now they raise the children in reverse because they take on the philosophies of the white man. You understand me? And he institutes laws of being a homosexual because that's what he liked, obviously, if he made the law. Right? It's lucky. Let me see. So this is Randy Hopewell. Hop around the room. No, this is somebody, a scoffer, looks like. Oh, wow. I didn't sweat that. If somebody got some serious questions, you can go ahead and type them in. We ain't going to deal with no scoffer. All right, so this is the reason why our society, our community, and the black community, Hispanic and Native Indian communities messed up, man. They pretty much bound the strong man so he can tell Hey, man, don't put no goddamn dress on my son. You know what I'm saying? Put no goddamn high heels on him. You feel what I'm saying? If you bind a strong man up through psych, you know, psychological warfare, economic warfare, social war warfare, chemical warfare, hell, regular warfare, you bind a strong man so that he can't protect his family. And our women have naively, naively played into the enemy's hands. You see what I'm saying? They've been told that they are this God. <laughs> we bring it out in a historical book. Read that part one more time about the independence. I want that to hit home. Both nigger females... Being without influence of the nigga male image, frozen with an independent psychology, mm -hmm. will raise their offspring into reverse positions. Wow. And that's the thing that happens, man. We, in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohanna, are trying to put things in their proper order. Right? The Most High is not the author of confusion. A boy acting effeminate or being a homosexual is wrong according to the Bible. It's according to the Bible. Regardless of what, you know what I'm saying, you might think. It's in the scriptures. And I can pull them. And a female trying to take on a man's role, talking about she's God. The scriptures say in Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3 that the Lord is a man of war. It don't say nothing about being a female. She has her role. She can be blessed if she stays in her role. Just like the man can be blessed if he stay in his role. The children can be blessed if they stay in their role. We all got a role. There's order. There's going to be order in the kingdom when your Howard shot comes back. I think we can drop that. And we're going to go into the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. Because we talked about how... The woman has a head. This is ordained by the Most High. But when a strong man is bound up, then it leaves the woman susceptible to become MIA, missing in action, so to speak. Tonight's class, if the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? Man, I don't want to see black women missing. They need to be at home cooking them, you know, frying that chicken, Getting the biscuits cracking and getting that Kool-Aid together. You see what I'm saying? Not out in the streets. Ripping and running the streets like they used to say. You're going to get caught slipping. We're trying to game you up. You got that? Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. Okay, is that Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15? Okay, keep reading. Let me see. 
It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Go up to one. I think I need to go up to one where it says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any of the beasts of the field. That's what I'm looking for. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent, serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field. Now the serpent, now the white man, the so-called Edomites on the planet today have the spirit of the serpent here in this context, right? What does he do? Gets in the black woman's ear. You don't need a black man. You can go to college. You can be self-sufficient yourself. Now, white man, you raise him how we tell you to raise him. Now, this is an 18-year deal. You see what I'm saying? He, he's the serpent. He's slick like that. You see what I'm saying? They want a black man to be out of pocket for 18 years just so this woman can feel like a god, a goddess. You see what I'm saying? Uh-uh. We're going to game y'all up tonight to make sure you straight, you to wob with these scriptures and you know how to handle your woman, the woman you dealing with. Are you finna deal with? You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Mm -hmm. Now, let me stop here. The beast of the field, this isn't literal beasts or animals in this context. These are people that act like animals, right? Goddamn stinking Hamites that eat human beings, cannibals. The Moabites that eat dogs and cats and rats and bats and all kind of abominable things. The Edomites that sleep with little children and sleep with their same sex gender. They are animals according to the Bible. Go ahead. And he said unto the woman, ye have God said, now, here's another thing. Think about this. Now, the serpent is dealing with the woman. Why the hell is she off by herself? Why ain't she in, you know, in pocket with her man? See, that's part of the problem of being independent. The serpent gonna come up to you and game you up. What the serpent look like nowadays, right? He's that college professor. What happened? No, that's too wild. I think it's, it's still on. That's too wild. I think it's still too wild right now. Yeah, but that's that's that is you know what happens, man. That's what the serpent looks like now. You know what I'm saying? That job in corporate America. Now think about this, black man. You have on bus stop the train or walking on your bike or whatever you're doing, and you see black women driving, got the baby seat in the back, driving good. You ever wonder about that dynamic? How did she get that good ass job in corporate America? Is it because she was smarter than you? She worked harder than you? No, that was a setup. They put they pretty much put a piece of cheese on the mouse trap and they set it out there and she went for it. What is that mouse trap? What is the cheese? The cheese is that goddamn college education. Now I'm not saying every sister that go to school is wrong, but you don't have the constant guidance of a black, Hispanic, or native Indian man. You're going to get caught slipping out there. You see what I'm saying? And we in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commander General Yohanna, we got to bring it out. Because a lot of our women have went astray. And they believe that they are just their own head. They don't need no guidance from a man. But yet... They go to college and listen to what the white man got to say. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to have you as they head, black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. You are the greatest men on the planet. Yet, things have been turned upside down. And now you're looked at as an antagonist toward the black woman. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to change that. Commander Joe Yohanna has sent out his soldiers, his priests and prophets... To work our people up. You see what I'm saying? And that's what we're going to do tonight. Tonight's class. If the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? Real talk. We got more on that. And he said unto the woman, Ye have God said, 
ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now, this is getting heavy. It's not literal fruit. You can be eating up every word that somebody say. You know what I'm saying? This is a black man's book. It often relates in like a slang. You see what I'm saying? Man. Now, did, did, did God say that? When it said that the woman head is a man. So did Adam say that? You see what I'm saying? It, they just circumvent Adam. You see what I'm saying? He don't count. The same thing they do nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Black man don't count. Nah. That's what they do in that Christian church. You got to blame that stinking traitor Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King pretty much told us that we need to come together with everybody. But when you go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8, the Most High separated and divided the nations. I'm just paraphrasing. You see what I'm saying? Now, with that philosophy and that ideology in the Christian church, now your woman thinks she got to love everybody. She love everybody but you in many cases. You a decent woman? I'm not talking about you. So don't get in your feelings. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go tell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. You ain't going to do nothing. The most high, you know what I'm saying, is looking up, looking over this class. You know what I'm saying? See, you need to be put in your place. But you want to believe nice, smooth words. The scriptures say in Psalms 55 and verse 21 that his words are smoother than butter, but war is in his heart. Who is that talking about? That's the characteristic of the Edomite, right? Because if I, if I was to say he had a superpower like a Marvel superhero, it's that he knows how to talk swell, really good, make you feel good. Oh, that guy, he, he's been a dick jerk. <laughs> you know, that guy, I can't believe he's not respecting you as the woman that you are. You sure look like a nice chocolate thing to me. You know, and he'd get into your, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? He talks real smooth, and your woman is a emotional creature. So she goes for it and winds up like those girls in D.C. and throughout the United States and the planet that's missing. Hell, ask that fake Israelite group, Joy Morgan, you see what I'm saying? Because she didn't have a proper head. Look what happened to her. It's a shame. It is a shame. But man, we're going to touch on that and some other things. But yeah, it's funny how this serpent didn't deal with that black man, didn't deal with Adam. He went to the woman. It's funny how you're going to watch the evening news tonight and you're going to see a white news anchor and you're going to see a black woman sitting right next to him. Why ain't that black woman in the house? Why ain't she in that goddamn kitchen frying up that chicken Getting that baked macaroni together, rubbing your feet, grabbing you a beer, rubbing your shoulders after a hard day's work. And then she drives home late at night from that job to be met by a Trump supporter. This drunk in the pickup pick truck, they had a couple of beers. You see that? You see that layer? And she, you know what I'm saying? She's so trusting of everybody because she's been taught that by America. In the educational system, that Christian church, that God love everybody. And she don't make it home. Mm -mm. The black woman is not God. That's why she's coming up missing, man. Real talk. But yeah, we got him on that. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Now, that's taking on the other philosophies and the culture in a sense of these heathen nations, right? It gets deep, but I'm just touching on what that means. Equate that to today. She believes that Wonder Bread, Buttermilk Biscuit, Jesus is coming to save a black ass. <laughs> That's not happening, man. White Jesus is a figment of your imagination. 
that's pretty much the mascot for white people, for white supremacy. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no hell's angel hippie white dude come to save black people, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you got any questions, you know what I'm saying, or you make a comment, you know what I'm saying, just chime in. It's a while. Ain't, he ain't coming to save black people. It's going to be a black man coming to save black people, Hispanic and Native Indian people. His name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's who's coming back for black people. And he's coming back for blood. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. You feel me? You listen to the Christian church, man. Meanwhile, I seen a video, I think it was on social media, where it was a black woman in that Christian church, and they was talking about exercising a, 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 a what was that, oral sex demon. It's lucky, you know what I'm saying? But that's the that's the madness and the silliness in that Christian church. You see what I'm saying? They talk all perverse and, you know, got your woman talking about spit it out, spit that stuff out. You know, like it's stuff. You know what I'm talking about. That's what they doing in that Christian church, man, with your black woman. You feel what I'm saying? If you got a woman in the rib, man, and I, I ain't talking about brothers in the truth. They know better. But I'm just saying, if you out there and you learning, you know what I'm saying? You with a fake Israelite group or something that's ran by women, get out of that group and come into the ISUPK, man. We will teach you how to properly be a head over your woman, according to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's no, no marvel. It's just following the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You feel what I'm saying? Real talk. You sitting there believing that... Um, a woman is supposed to have a prominent place in the church. Now, she has her place, but it's not to teach these scriptures because she's going to fuck them up. You see what I'm saying? Let's, sometimes we just got to say something plain. She's going to mess them up. She's going to go online and try to post some stuff that's going to take it totally out of context because she is trying to merge Christian philosophies with these scriptures, and she's going to mess them up. That's why the men of the ISUPK and the Commander Joan Johanna is here, man, and needed. We've been doing this since 1969, letting blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians know that they are the true Israelites according to the Bible, and that the so-called white man, the Edomite, is the devil, the Bible speaks of. Now, what does devil mean? It simply means deceiver, right? Deceiving a black woman and telling her that she can be independent and she don't need that man to raise those male children and to be a protector of that female child. It's ludicrous. You see what I'm saying? So we got that. All right. I think that's it on that. Let's go to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14. First, it's like 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14. I would like to remind everybody out there watching, if you have not already done so, make sure you subscribe to the Dwayne Davis. Shalom, brother. The water for, for tuning in. Most high in Christ. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, ISUPK Louisville. We have a lot of exclusive content up there. Man, it gets heavy. But yeah. Tonight's class, if the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? Man, it's crazy out here, man. You've been hearing about these black women coming up missing. And why is that? It's because the strong man has been bound in that home. Now, if you a brother out there and you taking care of your children, your daughters, man, clap it up for you, man. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, man. But you got to be careful. You can't get lax because this place here in the Babylon is designed to make us all lax when we're really in a warfare every day, every day in hell. You see what I'm saying? To make it to the next level until we get saved and redeemed out this place. You got that? First Timothy chapter 2 verse 14. And Adam was not deceived. Okay, Adam was not deceived. Go ahead. But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Now, sister, don't get mad. We're just reading the scriptures. 
The woman was in the transgression, man. You see what I'm saying? Even now, if you're a sister and you don't have a husband, then you need a head. And that could be the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, right? Not some fake Israelite group or some fake church or something like that. Commanding General Yohanna does an excellent job of raising up his daughters to be fine, decent women that lives according to these scriptures and fine wives and mothers, grandmothers. See what I'm saying? Why not get in contact with the nearest ISUPK school near you in your city? Or you can go to the website, ISUPK.com. That's www.ISUPK.com. You can go there. And if you feel inclined to help the Lord's army, there's also links there where you can submit your tithes and your donations. Man, help black people, man. I can't think of a better place where you can send your resources that's going to have tangible results. Man, we help black people. Commander Junior Hanna is resurrecting black people every day. You understand me? Resurrecting them from spiritual death. You feel me? Go to that website, man. Donate and help black people. We got that. Mm -hmm. uh, did we get that? Um, did we finish that out? And we, we only won to 14. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me get the book of Ecclesiasticus. This is in the Apocrypha. You might need to use this one if I could. Um, the one, sorry. No sweat. Um, Ecclesiasticus. 25 and 24. Also, you got some questions. Type in your questions, man. You feel me? Book of Ecclesiasticus 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Of the what? Beginning of sin. Right. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, right? We brought that account out that was in the book of Genesis. And it's, you know, here's the thing. This might come off like, you know, we're bashing women, but we're actually correcting women. Because I don't want to hear about another black child female coming up missing, found in a dumpster, mutilated, or in a suitcase or briefcase, chopped up and mutilated. You feel what I'm saying? Now, we're taking a preemptive strike, so to speak, being proactive and pretty much giving you the information so you can decide whether you want to live by that information and do what the Most High say to do or do your own thing, like Eve did and brought. What did it say? Transgression? She wasn't in transgression? Of the, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Man, through her we all die. You see what I'm saying? Man, you wonder. Now, we understand that different things happen. Some of us can't help, you know, the situation that we grew up in. But we heard, you know, about our friends living with women that didn't have a man in the house. And... Horrific things happen. A child got molested. You know, somebody wasn't on their watch. They wasn't looking out. Or raped or something like that. Or a fire happened or whatever. Through her, we all die, man. Because she, you know, acts on impulse many times. And when she does talk and present herself a certain way, that's because she has the influence of some man. Whether it be a white man or a black man or some man out there. There's a lot of women out there that sound intelligent, but they just repeat things. They regurgitate what they heard, like a parrot. If she ain't talking what you talking, black man, and you talking what's in this Bible, then she's talking some yin-yang shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? She ain't talking about nothing, really. Right. You see what I'm saying? And we just bring that out. So don't get mad at us and don't sweat us. You feel me? All right. So we got more on that. That was the end of 24. 
Okay, before. let me go to 25. Fuck the Give the water no passage. Mm -hmm. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. To gad abroad. Like that's going out freedom. Think about abroad. That's going, you know, like they say you go abroad when you go overseas. But that's just going here and there. A lot of females like to take the uh, the trip to Jamaica. You see what I'm saying? They like to go to the Virgin Islands or Miami or something by themselves without a man. All of them, about four, five, four, five, six, seven of them at one time. You feel what I mean? It says, give the wicked woman. Now, if you're a good woman, man, you're in that kitchen. You got the apron on. You got that biscuit roller. You're getting it in. <laughs> but the wicked woman, she don't stay at home. Her feet don't abide at home. And you get yourself in a situation. Man, it's sad because... Man, back in the day, hell, I ain't always been in the truth, but I tell you one thing, you see in that porn industry that you see a lot of young black girls engaged in interracial sex with old white men, right? Now, how the hell are they doing that if they supposed to be at home under the guidance of that strong man, that black Hispanic or native Indian man? That would not happen if our families was together. And a key component in that, for that to happen, is submission of a black woman. Submission to that black man. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to be submitted, just like we submitted to Christ. Hell, we can't go out here and do stuff we think we want to do. We be needing money every goddamn day. But do we rob a bank? No. We have faith that the Most High is going to you know, provide a way so we don't do that. You're going to have to have faith too. You see what I'm saying? And that going to require you to be submitted to that man, right? We bringing out some heavy stuff here, man. You know what I'm saying? You going to believe me or not, but I don't want to see you the one that they pull out the dumpster. You feel me? Man, it's crazy. Don't let me get into the abortion. You've been gamed up by the goddamn serpent, which is the Edomites today. You feel what I'm saying? He got that spirit to poison you with his lies. Go ahead. If she go not as thou wouldst have her, cut her off from thy flesh. Man, now that, you know what I'm saying? Now that gets deep right there. You know, it's certain, under certain ways you can put your woman away, but you can't just put her away because, you know, you're displeased with her. There's certain things where, you know, she commits adultery and, Different things like that. But um, that's one of the main things, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to happen if she's not submitted and committed to you, black man, Hispanic and native Indian man. And they pretty much design a social construct for us to have a divide. You see what I'm saying? They put her in corporate America, which is the big house. Hell, Babylon's the plantation. And many of us niggas, we the, we the, we, we the, you know, feel slaves. You see what I'm saying? Trying to get a piece of fat back. <laughs> now, she go in that big house. She's cutting up potatoes. What does that look like now? She's a secretary. You know what I'm saying? I'm bringing some parallels, you know. But, man, it's, it's, it's like we got to see it like this. Because who is she around eight hours in the day getting her philosophies from? She ain't around you. She goes in corporate America and she pretty much listens and she's amongst Edomites. Meanwhile, her kids are in daycare. You see what I'm saying? So, there's a disconnect with the children. The children are being raised in many respects by Edomites in that daycare. And the black man, you in jail. You in jail because you wanted to lead your family and you wanted to do it in righteousness. And she put pressure on you to go out there and sell drugs or go out there and rob somebody or do something because, you know what I'm saying, she's been taught that money is what's going to keep the family together. Now, money is important, but it's not the only aspect of keeping a relationship together. You see what I'm saying? It's many things. 
trust, commitment. Other, other different attributes. You see what I mean? And they know that. That's why the serpent went to Eve and not to Adam. Because the man is the stronger of the two genders. According to the scripture. The woman's a weaker vessel. Don't get mad at me. Now, I ain't talking about, you know, the uh, uh, set, uh, occasional exceptions of a woman that can lift weights or, you know what I'm saying, she has a um, high IQ. Those are exceptions. But for the most part, the woman is the weaker vessel. She needs guidance, just like a child. And there's an order. The woman, here's another dynamic. And this is what, <laughs> I got to bring this out. You ever wonder why a lot of black women call you boy? Boy, stop playing. Because they've been taught that way. When's the last time you heard a black woman call a white man boy? Because they have been frozen in that independent psychology like we brought out. So therefore, she refers to a black man as a boy because every movie and television show portrays a black man as a lesser being than a white man. So therefore, she looks at you as boy. You see what I'm saying? We get deep in it because you got to understand the psychology of why your woman do what she do. You see what I'm saying? Why she's doing that. And, you know, she, she's a victim of, you know, this hell, hellish condition too. But that's why she do that, man. See, a woman's natural mechanism is to lead children. But that's been perverted where she uses that motherly instinct and now she tries to govern and control men. You see what I'm saying? I think we were supposed to bring that out in that uh, Willie Lynch letter where it said they um, raised the... Did we go to that part? Go back to the Willie Lynch letter. I think it's on page 21 where it talks about how she agrees the um, son weak. This explains that. Somewhere in the middle, I think. The, the Willie Lynch letter and the making of a slave, page 21, the Negro mar marriage unit. Mm -hmm. The one female with the female offspring would teach her to be like herself, independent and negotiable. Independent and negotiable, right? So now you wonder why she got that scholarship. Because the white man knows she's going to be independent and negotiable. Look at your city council woman. Right? She might have a few little things that she do for the hood, but the hood ain't changing. It's getting worse. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. We negotiate with her, through her, by her. Oh, they negotiate with her, through her, and by her. Right? So, that's why you always see in these rallies of black women talking about Black Lives Matter. Because they know that that movement is truly controlled by white people, man. What's that... What's that Soros and all them? You know what I'm saying? That gets deep. It goes into like little conspiracy theories. But man, they pay for that movement, right? They need to play the back fade and let black men fix black people, Hispanic and Native Indian people, man. And that's what Commander Junior Hanna does, man. A strong black man. And if I could, let's clap it up for Commander Junior Hanna because Commander Junior Hanna has the integrity and the strength to hold down this truth. To save the souls of many black people, man. Hell, we, we going through your goddamn window if it wasn't for him. You feel what I'm saying? Hell, get mine. But instead, what we're doing is we are doing the word and the will of the Most High and trying to get you together so that you can repent and live a different life so that we can get out this place, man. Ain't you tired of being here? The Most High is going to fight for us when he knows that we love him and we're going to get down with him, no matter what. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And negotiate her at will. Mm -hmm. The one with the nigga male offspring, she began, she being frozen with the subconscious fear for his life. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple years back in Baltimore, when they had the riots, they, there was this famous scene where the mother was grabbing on the young black teenage boy. Don't go out there, baby. Don't don't show your displeasure with America and stand up for black people. 
No, you're going to get hurt, baby. You know what I'm saying? And she's beating on them. And that's just what they want. They want the black woman to be, you know what I'm saying, so controlling of the black males without the black man's influence, the strong man that's supposed to be in that house. Because, hell, if the strong man was in that house, that would solve many things, man. Black women would be coming up missing. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Will raise him to be mentally dependent and weak. Man, and ain't that what it is? Mentally dependent and weak. Mama, she tripping. Mama, mama, she over here, she over here, bitch throwing stuff. You know, we, you know how? You got to admit, you might not know where that came from, but we got to come to the realization that we've all been duped. You see what I'm saying? We all have. Hell, our mama, you know, we love our mama. You know what I'm saying? I love mine. But at the same time, when that male becomes a man, he got to follow his own way. Or follow his way according to these scriptures. He can't follow, you know what I'm saying, the ways of a woman. He can't be running behind a skirt, man. In the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge in the Commander Journey Hunter, we don't run behind no goddamn skirt, man. You see what I'm saying? Real talk. We got more on it. Dependent and weak, but physically strong, in other words. Now, this is in the Willie Lynch letter, right? That's why a lot of our males, like R. Kelly, you know, they effeminate. And, you know what I'm saying? I like the brother's talent. But, you know, I did not do this stuff. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look, man, you could have told your lawyer, you could have said a couple of words and been like, hey, you no, know, it's a big misunderstanding. My lawyers, we're going to be in court. We're going to fight this thing to the fullest. And I'm going to be fully exonerated after this thing's over. Not crying on national TV like some bitch. You see what I'm saying? Now, here in the Willie Lynch letter, this is the reason why a lot of our us act like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have the male figure in the house to guide us. Just to observe him. To observe his actions. His characteristics. His attributes. You see what I'm saying? You're going to learn a lot just by observing a man in that house. How he make his moves. But when you don't have that, you go through life. Like one arm tied behind your back. You see what I'm saying? And then it takes for you to learn from other seasoned men, mature men. Men like Commander Joe and Johanna. So you can come into you know, your full potential as a man. But... We got to address these problems. We got to expose them. Like I said, tonight's class, if the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? We talked about 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and 3, that the woman has a head, which is the man. Mark chapter 3, we talk about how the strong man, that black man get kicked out the house. You bind that strong man, now everything goes dis in disarray. Right? Like in the garden. The serpent talks to Eve. And it's just me personally. I wouldn't let my woman do a lot of talking like on the phone. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? With handling business like that. Now you might be different. Unless you pro properly instruct her. But. Man. There's a lot of temptation out here. The knowledge of good and evil. Especially on the goddamn social media and the internet. That's a strong temptation. For your woman to be dealing with. Because hell. If, if I didn't teach the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, what if I came on here and was like that slimy, stinking Christian pastor? Black woman, you need to give me your money and God will send you a bow ass, a rich man that's going to marry you and sweep you off your feet. That's what that stinking Christian pastor do to black women every Sunday in that church. You know what I'm saying? In the church. Mm-mm. Nah, man. Your woman need to be in order, man. She need a head. And her power is in her submission, right? Her submission to you and you following the laws of the Most High and you pretty much telling her what to do and she's following suit. She remains safe. She won't come up missing. The Most High will be with her and bless her. Man, it's real heavy. Let's see. All right. So we got that. We can go ahead and drop that in that. And let me get 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. Like I said, the white man's the devil. According to the scriptures, the Bible, what does that mean? It means deceiver. So don't get in your feelings. Don't get mad. Yeah, sting and hurt your heart because Brian, Bob, Bill, and Brent are your friends at work. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, those are your co-workers. You work amongst them, you go home. You see what I'm saying? You got that? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you. Okay, now we talked about in the Willie Lynch letter where she makes the males weak. So now this could be in age, like tender in years, but it can also be tender in spirit, right? You can't hardly even tell the brother something to correct him without him getting all emotional. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And very delicate. Very delicate, right? I mean, you can't hardly even, you know, hurt his feelings, you know what I'm saying, for, for him to just get upset. And that's why, like, when I was growing up in the 19, <coughs> back in the, you know what I'm saying? No, but I was growing up, like, in the 90s, man, you couldn't hardly step on a brother's tennis shoes without him halfway killing you. You see what I'm saying? It's a little scuff mark. It'd be an accident, something totally innocent. He getting all emotional and want to kill you over them t tennis shoes. You see what I'm saying? That's a very tender and delicate thing. You see what I'm saying? That's a trait of a woman. That's women go off the off the hinges like that. You see what I'm saying? I, I was able to... I grew up, by the way, with my father and my mother. I seen how they did things. You see what I'm saying? You Things come more into focus. And you realize, man... It seemed like Pops was a little bit more calm and cool how he approached things. You know, my mom, she was like, oh, they did something. Like, like, calm down, calm down. You know, use his, you know, deductive reasoning, I guess that's what they say, and just kind of look at the situation. Okay, we're going to handle it like this. Well, I didn't know it was going to work out like that. She don't know. But she know how to get in that kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Make, when we did, you know, have them um, celebrate the white man's holidays, you know, so get down in that kitchen. Make all them pies, chest pies, you know, sweet potato pie, seven up cake, all that good stuff. She's excellent at that. Well, we might mess up. We, we can't even uh, boil water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So clap it up for the women. You know what I'm saying? I know. Clap it up for the good sisters. I know it's been coming off like I'm, you know, hard on the sisters, man. But, you know, a woman in her rightful, respective order and place, man, she's a very uh, beautiful thing. According to the scriptures, man, and that's the thing about she needs to understand that, man. We don't want to see our sisters coming up missing. Now, let's finish on that scripture if I could, folks. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Now, that's what happens, right? We talked about how, you know, in the Willie Lynch letter, how they raised them in reverse orders. His eyes evil toward his brother. We get it at camp all the time. Man, y'all y'all hating. Y'all hating. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff like that. We, we just bring it out to scriptures, man. We trying to liberate you from your mind in the matrix. You see what I'm saying? We trying to break the chains off your brain. And that's what's up. Go ahead. And toward the wife of his bosom. Now, that's what happens. He's effeminate. He don't know how to deal with this woman. He's always arguing with this woman. Sometimes, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, Pops used to just step out, this cigarette, walk out on the porch. I ain't saying it's right, but I'm just saying, you know, back in the 70s and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, brothers was cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe take a drink, get his head together, take a walk down the block. Sometimes you got to do that, man. But if you are an effeminate man, you gonna you know hit that woman, or you gonna do something rash. That's why the ISUPK commanded Joan Yohanan raises us according to the scriptures, right? With um, very strong traits, the strong man, strong man. Hell, back in the day, and I ain't saying I was pimping, but I was around some people. You know what I mean? <laughs> A lot of stuff you can handle with that mouth, with your mouthpiece, man. You see what I'm saying? Because you get into her mind, the body gonna follow. That's just a little game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I mean, but you know, that's another subject. Alright, so we got that. We're gonna go to 
56 also. We're going to finish 54, and then we're going to go to skip to verse 56, if I could. Right. And very delicate, and his eye shall be evil towards his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children. Man, toward the remnant of his children, right? Now, they bind that strong man up. Them little girls ain't in the house. What are they doing? You know how many weekends I've seen little girls walking the street? I'm talking about middle school, elementary school, walking. It's pitch black outside, walking down the street in the summertime. You'll see it. You will see it because mama want to be at the club or mama's in the uh, beauty shop getting her weave done, or, you know, sold in or something like that. And them children are left to raise themselves. Hell. I wanted to bring this out. I wanted to talk about this history. Back in the day in Atlanta, there was a very famous incident where a lot of children, but these were black males, coming up missing, kidnapped in Atlanta. Back in the early uh, 80s. Man, I had that to lock it. But they end up pinning it on a brother. And I, I, I was around. Man, we used to be scared as hell. Thinking we was going to get kidnapped, man. Uh-uh, y'all, when the streetlights come on, you bring your black ass in. You ever heard that one? And that's the thing. They don't do that now. Nowadays, you see little girls out there running the streets in yoga pants. Man, especially like here in Louisville, Kentucky, on 18th Street. It's crazy, man. And you see all them truckers and people coming in and just shooting in town. Perverted. Edomite men, no telling what the hell they doing to our sisters, man. That's why we need to be, you know, the hedge of protection for our family, man. Our wife, our daughters, you know, the women in our family that will listen. Some of them ain't going to listen. That's why tonight's class, I'm, the blood's off my hands. I can just tell you what's up. You see what I'm saying? I That's the only thing I can do. The scripture's saying... Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, their transgressions. What is that? They sins. You're not supposed to be leaving your young daughters under, unattended. You see what I'm saying? Not with you. It's a very difficult thing. You're in a relationship with a man that's not the father of them children. I'm not saying in all cases that he will, you know, cause harm, but you got to properly vet him. That's why, you know, it's important for sisters to have a relationship with their fathers. You see what I'm saying? So that he can know the men in their life. Because in the biblical days, the father, you know, they paid a father a dowry so to speak, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he was the one that pretty much gave his daughter away to that man to be married. We don't do that now. Everything's out of whack because we are in hell. It's hell when a black man can't see his kids. You see what I'm saying? And he wants to guide his kids. He wants to guide his daughter and tell her, no, you need not to wear that. You need not to talk like that, dress like that, act like that. You need to do this. But we've been told that, no, black men don't care. A black man don't care nothing about his daughters. No, black men care about his daughters. He care about them enough sometimes to leave out their life. Because some of them black women would use them kids as pawns and prey on them and hurt them kids just to hurt that man. That's sad. That is sad. I've heard about it in my lifetime. How many news stories have there been of bitter and vindictive black women, Latino women, Native Indian women, a woman scorned that would hurt them children just to get back at that man? They, they, they rarely do that. If they have the seed of a heathen man, like a white man, or African. Speaking of that, 
We got 56. Did we already finish that? And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Hmm. Verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you. Okay. This is talking about that single black woman. Go ahead. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for. Right there. Now, back in the biblical days, this woman was sweet, feminine. Man, she was just very feminine. She wouldn't even venture to put her soles, her feet on the ground, man. Like, you know, she was real. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, no, nah, you know. Remember back in the day, they used to have the cartoons where the man threw the jacket over the puddle of water? It was like that, man. She was sweet like that. Now, I ain't saying you go mess up your leather for no bra. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. Go ahead. Her foot upon the ground for her delicateness and tenderness. Her eye shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom. Now, that's what it is. Now, now that black man ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You know your daddy ain't shit. You just lock it. <laughs> but I'm just doing that for illustration. Hell. You, you know, you look just like your daddy. I couldn't stand when your daddy did that neither, sucking his teeth. You know what I'm saying? Anything. You ever heard that? You know what I'm saying? You coming up, you start looking like your father. And because they fell out, now you fall, you got falling out with your mama. You don't even know why. You see what I'm saying? Read that last sentence again. Would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom mm -hmm. and towards her son and towards her daughter. This is uh, Dwayne Davis. Brother, he said, I put my daughter up from her job. He pick her up from her job. Every day and clap it up for that brother. You know what I'm saying? Strong black man. Because he, he understands the times that we live in, the climate of the racial tension. You know what I'm saying? Now, they might be an adult female. She's like, Daddy, I don't need you doing that. Daddy just looking out for you, baby. You see what I'm saying? Daddy looking out for you. Daddy done been around some years. Just like they told me, you don't know some things. Keep living. I used to be young. They used to tell me that too. I used to think I knew a whole lot of stuff. And, you know, the elders used to tell me, you think you know something? Keep living. That's all I can tell you. You can't replace experience. Sometimes you just got to go through things. And daddy just looking out for you. So don't, you know, daddy love you. He looking out for you. So, you know, good job, Mr. Davis, doing that. Go ahead. Okay. Now, if I could, let me get that in Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 11. See what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. The black woman's not God. Don't listen to, you know, these Egyptology people talking about, oh, man, where the black woman gives life to everybody on the planet, brother. Look here. The black woman has an egg. The male, think about it. Look at, look at the male anatomy, right? He got two testicles, right? It's common sense. You got the, you hold the female and the male um, chromosomes. You feel what I'm saying? You... You know, have all that life, all those sperms. You have life in you. Meanwhile, she got an egg that dies every month if she don't receive that life in that egg. So how the hell is she the giver of all life? She, we create. Black men, Hispanic and Native Indian men create. She procreates. You feel what I'm saying? She produces. She is a good steward of your seed. And once that seed comes to fruition, that's still that man's seed. That's just like, um, this is the phone right here. I put it in this Bible. Leave it in there a while. It come out, it's still my phone. It came from me. You see what I'm saying? It don't, she didn't produce the phone by itself. That's just common sense. You see what I'm saying? You got that. Book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 11. She is loud and stubborn. Now, unfortunately, when we don't have that strong man in the house, uh uh, y'all hating, y'all hating. Look, man, I grew up in the projects here in Louisville, Kentucky, right? It was a, it was a place called Air Course Home. 
I used to see the most ratchet ghetto shit. It's like it. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, it's, it's, it's just hell. I mean, you see some beautiful things because there's a lot of black people together, but you also see, see some sad stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, man, i seen some sad stuff. Sisters fighting. You know what I'm saying? Mothers fighting their daughters. Mothers fighting their children. You know, they man. Man. She is loud and stubborn. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when you see a, 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 a female arguing, that's a transgression she did. She tried to hide. Because the scriptures say that a shameless woman should be counted as a dog. She, Let me tell you something. This is something that you got to remember. One of the top things you got to remember about a woman, right? It's a pen down. She hates to be shamed. She would do anything at all expense. To prevent from being shamed. She will lie. Sisters out there that's watching. They know the real deal. Why do you think they wear that goddamn weed? They don't want. I think a black woman with a little fro is beautiful. Or even a little, little Tony Braxton back in the day. Yeah, you know I man. I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? A little short hair or something like that. Jada Pickett. You know, back in the day before she fucked us, messed herself up. So lucky. Yeah, but them little, you know, that's fine. I'd rather for her to have all that than all that weave and that blonde stuff. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Even the braids, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the thing about it. You you know, you want to chime in, you can chime in on it. But yeah, the thing is, it's like we this come off as um, you know, me being very harsh. But I'm talking to you like a father, you know what I'm saying? Like a father or, you know, an, an elder or you know, because I don't want to see our young ladies and young um, black females, Latino and Native Indians, what they doing on them reservations is bad too. Oh my God, man. Them truckers, them white truckers is going into them reservations, raping them um, and taking them off because they so poor. A lot of them Gadite women, they so poor, man. Then they resort to having to you know, hook and do things like that. They get them out there in them deserts. They come up missing too. We probably gonna have to do a part two on this class. Real talk. Let me go into this story. Let me finish that scripture out on Proverbs seven and eleven, if I could. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Man, and that's a shame, man. Because you, I guarantee you, this weekend, man, it's gonna be a club full of black women out there. They got some kids at home, but who's there watching them kids? And then you wonder why the kids come up missing and mutilated. You feel me? It's a shame. Whereas that woman should be in the home. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if maybe she was submissive to that man. That man would be in that home. And right. everything be alright. You feel what I'm saying? He'll protect the house. It's like, hey, I'm going to go check this door. Make sure it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's an order. But when you're trying to do stuff on your own. And, and this is the reason why. One of the core reasons why the woman wants to be independent. So she can just sleep around. That's what they don't talk about. You're not like... <laughs> I'm about to go back to my days, back in the day. They used to say, you're not like Pippin. It's like, yeah, they, I ain't saying you pimp, but you're not like a man. You can't have multiple spouses. A man can have multiple wives. You are to be with that husband for the duration of your entire life unless he dies then you know you become a widower and then you have the option to be with another man you know in some in the scriptures it was many different aspects of that but no that's that's the thing it, it is double standards in the bible and that's what you don't understand hell there's things that women are excellent at doing that a man can't you know, and we got to understand this. We got to understand our roles. Otherwise, black women are going to come up missing. You see what I'm saying? We, any more on that? Now, is she without now in the streets and lieth and wait at every corner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lying in the street. That's, that's pretty much talking about a, a street woman, a hooker. Is that the end of 11? Was it? Right. Okay, most high Christ. Let me get, we're going to end it out with Genesis chapter 34, 
Start at verse 1. Now, we talk about how the black woman's not God and how many of these black women's coming up missing. Now, think recently here. There's a fake Israelite group out there. A lot of homosexuals wearing purple. Now, if they was good stewards of the women like Commander Joan Yohanna is and the ISUPK, they would have the women submissive and they would pair them up with a black, Hispanic, or Native Indian man. But what they did was that this happened over there in the UK, right? It was a female named Joy Morgan, right? If I'm not mistaken. She was with this fake Israelite group. Now, because they believe that Hamites are the children of Israel, they pretty much allowed her to have some heathen man as her head. Black woman, you're not supposed to be with no goddamn stinking Hamite African. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to be with a black, Hispanic, or Native Indian man. And we're going to bring out a story in the Bible to confirm that and the reason why. Let me get that. Book of Genesis, chapter 34, four, verse 1. And Deniah, the daughter of Leah, mm -hmm. which she bare unto Jacob. To unto who? Jacob. Okay, so this is a black woman. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? That's one of his daughters. Deniah, Denina, go ahead. Went out to see the daughters of the land. Wait a minute, she did what? Went out to see the daughters of the land. Her feet abide not in her home. What went, the hell? Right, go went ahead. Went out to see the daughters of the land. Go ahead. And when Shishem, the son of Hamor, Hamor the Hivite. The what? The Hivite. Okay. Um, hold that. And let's go into the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Go to page 213 and look up the definition ham. That's in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. That's right there. We're going to find out who this Hivite was. Was he, was he an Israelite? What was he? Just like this IUIC. Well, it's locky. <laughs> this fake Israelite group. They um, let this sister, this sweet, precious black sister, have a head, a damn African Hamite as her husband. Which that is a no-no. And we're about to bring it out scripturally. You're sitting up there hating on the, the UPK. But you're just in the way. You see what I'm saying? I got something in the corner left in my cup. Don't worry about it. It's a whole lot of them. That's what uh, Dwayne Davis said. He's right. You got that? Go ahead and read that definition of ham. Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. Hivites, one of the seven nations of Canaan, conquered by... Okay, it's Canaan. That's right then and there. So we know Canaanite is a Hamite. If we go into the book of Ham, I mean, go into the definition of Ham, we know that um, Canaan, Canaan, Canaanites came from Ham. Now, you ain't got to do that. I just want to make my point. For the sake of time, because we're going to wrap it up. So, you go ahead and drop that and go to, uh, back to Genesis chapter 34. And then we're going to break out this story. Now, this is the same parallel. This is nothing new under the sun. Just like what happened with this Joy Morgan sister in that fake Israelite group. Because she was, you know, they, gave, they slapped a Hebrew Israelite um, title on this man. But, hell, he's a stinking bone cannibal African. Probably could have ate this woman. Go ahead. And when Shishem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her. Now he took her, right? He raped her. Go ahead. And defiled her. He defiled her. Go ahead. And his soul clave unto Deniah, the daughter of Jacob. And that's what's happened with a lot of black women out here now. They in this conscious community where they let these Hamites in the mix. And what do they do? They break these black women, eat them, do all kinds of things. What I mean eat them, I mean like literally eat their flesh. So don't, you know what I'm saying? You out there with your mind. But what I'm saying is like this, man. That's what happened to the system, man. That's what happened to them, man. Because, see, we we don't allow no damn stinking African Hamite in this school, man. The Most High is not going to allow that. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And he loved the damsel. And spake kindly unto the damsel. Mm -hmm. And Shishem spake unto his father, Hamor, 
saying, get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Denial, his daughter. Now his sons were with the cat with his cattle in the field. Now, you know, Jacob, he had a whole lot of sons, right? That's where the 12 tribes came from. Now they heard about their sister get raped by the stinking African. Go ahead. And Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the father of Shechem, went out unto Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved, and they were very wroth because he have wrought folly in Israel in lying. Right. And, and basically what happened was that this Hamite man was trying to reason with an Israelite man, Jacob, our forefather, you know, to, after this, his son then raped his daughter, and they still want to give his daughter over to this stinking Hamite. Go ahead. With Jacob's daughter, which things off not to be done, and her more communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Shashem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her him to wife and make ye marriages with us. Right. And you go into the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. It say, don't give your daughters unto their sons. So, of course, Jacob wasn't going to go against the law. You see what I'm saying? So he did not do that. Go ahead. We're going all the way to 7. And give your daughters unto us and take our daughters unto you. And ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Mm -hmm. Dwell and trade you therein, and get you possessions therein. Now, he was trying to pretty much buy them off. Go ahead. And Shashem said unto her father and unto her brother, Let me find grace in your eyes. Hell and, no, go ahead. <laughs> and what ye shall say unto me, I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift. And I will give according as ye shall say unto me. And we talked about that dowry earlier where uh, um, they would pay, in a sense, for that daughter. You know, we don't do that nowadays, but it's a practice that we did in ancient days. Go ahead. And we give according as ye shall say unto me, give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Shashem. And Hamor his father deceivingly and said because he had defiled Deniah their sister that they said unto them we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised for that were a reproach unto us. Right. He didn't have covenant. He's uncircumcised. And that's another thing. If you are outside of being a black, Hispanic, or native Indian on the earth today, you are uncircumcised. You are you don't get the covenant of the Most High in your house, shot. You see what I'm saying? You can't get grafted in like the Christian philosophy and all that. That was talking about Gentiles who are Israelites living like the heathens, like a lot of us here in America today. Go ahead. And for that, we, we're a reproach unto us. All right. Where you at? 15. You at 15? Okay, you need to stop on that. Oh, sign Christ. So tonight's class, if the black woman is God, why the hell is she coming up missing? To recap, we talked about in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3, that the woman has a head, right? Just like a man has a head, Christ is our head. A black, Hispanic, and native Indian woman has a head in her husband or her father, man, which is a black, Hispanic, or native Indian man. Not that white man on your job. We talked about in the book of Mark chapter 3 and verse 27 that when you bind the strong man, you leave the family susceptible to attacks, right? That's why a lot of these black women are coming up missing. How did they do that? The book of Genesis chapter 3, we talked about how Eve, which represents the black woman today, was pretty much gamed up by the serpent, which the white man, the Edomite, has the spirit of the serpent. He poisoned her with the philosophies and the customs of him and them other heathens on the planet. What is that? That's your college. That's your different prominent roles in society. City council woman and all that stuff like that. 
But meanwhile, black people are dying. They, ain't nothing, they can't do nothing about it. Talk about the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14, how the woman was in the transgression, right? She Because the serpent know who to go to. He went to the weaker vessel, which was Eve, the woman. We talked about in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, how we all died through the woman. You see what I'm saying? We're not supposed to give this woman liberty to gather abroad. Scriptures also say that, um, I'm just paraphrasing, the, the, the land be wicked full of whoredom. You know what I'm saying? Let the land be full of wickedness. You know, if you allow a whore, you know, your daughter be a whore. I'm just paraphrasing. And that's what happens because they want to get out there. They want to wear yoga pants and all this stuff like that. Weaves. Blonde European hairstyles. She's not wearing a fro. So that lets you know who she want to look like and who she want to attract. We talked about in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 54, how the tender man, and we talk about 56, the tender woman, how they are going to go astray. You see what I'm saying? And that's going to cause a, a divide in the family unit, which creates the tender man and woman. And we brought examples historically of that in the Willie Lynch letter. Proverbs 7 and 11, how she is loud. This is what it produces when you get a little girl that don't have the influence of that father, she's loud and stubborn. You can't tell her nothing. She go out in the streets. She go to the club. She get turned up lit. She drive home drunk. She get in that cab. Who, no, no telling what a damn racist Trump supporter might do to her on that way home to that club. You see what I'm saying? We also brought out that incident, what happened in that fake Israelite group with that sister. They allowed that black woman, that Israelite woman, to marry a damn stinking Hamite man. We brought out scripturally in the book of Genesis chapter 34 how Jacob's daughter, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob he had sons, but he also had daughters, Danina, she was taken or raped by a Hivite, which came from Canaan, which was basically a Hamite man. He raped her and that's what happened with that, um, you know what I'm saying? That happens all the time when our sisters are not in pocket, basically. You know, they're not submissive and they go astray. And with that said, let's read tonight's announcements. We are the ISUPK, start out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. Rule for new brother and sister. When a new brother and sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to share themselves of the world. If they need transportation, the teacher will arrange it. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which the brother and sister will court each other. After this six-month period, the brother and sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tides which is a commandment. Numbers 18.21, Malachi 3, 8 through 10, means 10th in the Hebrew, Mayashra. 10% of every penny of any increase the Most High gives you, you can pay your tithes and tribute at ISUPK.com. Priest fund, free will offering for priests, not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like. Upcoming Holy Convocation, man, the big 5-0, gonna be in Queens, New York, you know what I'm saying? Clap it up for Commander Jeremy Hunter for that. You know what I'm saying? The 50th Passover. Man, the Jubilee. Probably going to do a class on that too. Because that's the year of release. Real heavy. That's going to be sundown April 20th. That Friday, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Get more confirmation on that. And with that, we'll give a courtesy salute to all the brothers watching the stream. Imagine Shabbat. Imagine Barak. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barak Atham, Yahweh Matah, courtesy salute to all the sisters watching the stream. Amaizim Shabbat, Amaizim, Barak, Yahweh, Shemar, I, Atan, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Matah, class dismissed.